What's up guys, Andy Drifter here. I hope your Sunday evening is going well. We are here at the All-Star break. The Tampa Bay Rays have the best record in baseball. And how about those Miami Marlins with the second best record in the National League? As for my Phillies, they are third in the NL East and fifth in the wildcard standings. Roughly where they were at last year around this time. So who knows, maybe they can duplicate their second half success from last year and make a repeat appearance in the World Series. All right, I am holding a 67 card hanger box of 2023 Series 2. I do believe it's my first time doing a hanger box from Series 2. Let's see what we can un uncover. Yuli Gurriel, Kayvon Biggio, Zach Grenke, Jorge Soler on pace to hit 40 home runs. He did have one 40 home run season before. I believe that year he had 48. Alex Bregman, James Outman, Jake Berger among the AL League leaders in home runs. Heavy hitters, Mike Trout and Vladdy Jr. What a shame about Mike Trout. Um, looked like he was going to have at least 30 home runs this year at the pace he was hitting them. The batting average was a bit low compared to his career batting average. Uh, but the Angels, for now, they're still in that wild card mix. Cole Calhoun. Jackie Bradley Jr., Max Muncy, Max Muncy, Joey Gallo, and Kyle Schwarber. All among the league leaders in home runs, but they're all batting under the Mendoza line. Which one, if any of them, will finish the season with a batting average over 200? That should be an interesting bet. Will Myers, Reds, they are rolling. They lost today. Felix Batista. All right, congratulations. What do I got? I got a relic of Christopher Morel. Very nice. Aaron Judge. 19 home runs in less than 50 games. Not sure what the uh, timetable is, but I assume he'll be back sometime later on this year. Another guy plagued by injuries. Uh, Jose Iglesias. This is numbered out of 2023. Harry Ford. WBC card. Trey Turner. Hitting slightly better as we approach the All-Star break. Clayton Kershaw. First ballot Hall of Famer. Francisco Alvarez. Could he be a dark horse in the NL Rookie of the Year? Keep an eye on him. Josh Young. And we got some more base cards here. Randy Rosarina will be starting his first All-Star game. Jonathan Shope. Adelis Garcia. Still among the league leaders in RBI. Lars Nootbaar. Great name. Ah, Tampa Bay Rays, as I mentioned before. Best record in the big leagues with a payroll that's among one of the lowest. Twins, still in first. I think they're in first place. Reds. White Sox, Craig Kimbrell. David Fletcher. Jose Abreu having a really off season. You know, the power numbers have just completely gone. I don't know. I don't know what his deal was. You know, you thought that uh, a change of environment would maybe uh, beef up his stats, but uh, it's worked the opposite for him. Perhaps his best days are behind him. Lane Thomas, Jeremy Pena, Alejandro Kirk, 
Baltimore. They won today in decisive fashion. They got the second best record in the AL East. And Evan Longoria to finish things out. All right. There it is. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit like and subscribe and enjoy the rest of your Sunday evening.